Assalamu alaikum how are you my dear students hope all you are well by the grace of almighty allah i am also fine welcome to nibs home school this is amiruddin assistant teacher of mathematics morning shift national ideal english version school dear students today i am going to take a math class for the students of class 9 our today's topic assignment 2 this is lesson number 40 okay dear the students let us start our class at first i will discuss about the topic of mathematics assignment 2 here one stem given then we have to solve this four question the stem is in the covid 19 pandemic situation one youth club of an area has formulated a budget of tk 2 lakh 10000 in order to distribute the necessary foods of one week and other daily necessities to 100 helpless family so every member of the club has decided to donate equally but at the time of donating 10 members have failed to donate as a result for capita contribution of each person is increased by tk 50 now solve the following step step 1 if all the members of youth club donate assuming the number of members x and per capita donation a express the total amount of donation by x step 2 express total amount of donation by x when 10 members do not pay their donation and step 3 find out the per capita donation of each member of that youth club now step 4 is the allotted food and daily necessities for each family enough for the mention time in the stem explain okay dear the students now we'll solve at first we'll solve step 1 the question is if all the members of the youth club donate assuming the number of members x and per capita donation a express the total amount of donation by x here total number of member in the youth club is x and per capita donation is a per capita donation means the donation of each member donation of each member is a so donation of x member will be x time of a that means it will be ax and we have to express the total amount by x here the solution is given total number of member is x each member donates a here in the question it is said that per capita donation a per capita donation means each members donation that means each member donates a so one members donates tka so x number of members do, donates donate a multiplication x total so total amount of donation will be tk a multiplication x this is equal to tk ax and as per question we can write ax equal to 2 lakh 10000 because in the stem it is mentioned that total amount of budget was tk 2 lakh 10000 so as per question ax equal to 2 lakh 10000 okay dear the students we have solved step 1 this is the solution of step 1 now we will solve step 2 the question is express total amount of donation by x when 10 members do not pay their donation total amount of donation by x we have to express and uh, when 10 members do not pay their donation dear students in the stem it is said that every member of the club decided to donate equally but at the time of donating 10 members have failed to donate as a result for capita contribution of each person is increased by 
50. So that means each person donation in this case each person donation will be x plus 50 and number of members will be sorry each one person donates TKA so here when 10 member will not donate the contribution of each person is increased by TK50 so each person donation will be A plus 50 and number of members who has paid it will be X minus 10. Here the solution is given since 10 members do not pay their donation 10 members do not pay their donation so number of members who has paid donation it will be X minus 10. In this case, each member's donation will be, each member's donation will increased by TK50, so it will be A plus 50. That means one member's donation is A plus 50, so X minus 10 member's donation will be A plus 50 into X minus 10. So total amount of donation will be TK X minus 10 into A plus 50. And as per question, we can write it x minus 10 into a plus 50 equal to tk 2 lakh 10,000 because total budget was tk 2 lakh 10,000. Okay, dear the students, we have solved step 2 also. This is the solution of step 2. Now we will solve step 3. At first, we will see the question. Step 3. Question is find out the per capita donation of each member of that youth club. We have to find out the per capita donation of each member. That means we have to find out one member of that family will donate how much money. Here from step 1 and step 2 we get. From step 1 we get AX equal to 2 lakh 10,000. And from step 2, we get x minus 10 into a plus 50 equal to 2 lakh 10,000. So we can write from step 1 and step 2, we can write x equal to 2 lakh 10,000 and x minus 10 into a plus 50 equal to 2 lakh 10,000. Okay, dear the students here, x equal to 2 lakh 10,000 and x minus 10 into a plus 50 equal to also 2 lakh 10,000. So from equation 1 and 2, we can write x minus 10 into a plus 50 equal to ax because both of the equations right hand side is same so we can write left hand side is equal to left hand side that means x minus 10 into a plus 50 equal to ax now multiplying these two expression we get ax plus 50x minus 10a minus 500 equal to ax now here ax exists in left hand side and right hand side so we can remove ax from both sides then ax minus 10a minus 500 will be exist this is equal to 0. Now dividing both sides by 10 if we divide both sides by 10 if we divide 50 by 10 it should be 5x if we divide 10a by 10 it will be minus a and if we divide 500 by 10 then it will be minus 50a. If we send minus a in right hand side, then it will be plus a. That means 5x minus 50 equal to a. Okay, from 1 now we get. Here the equation 1 is ax equal to 2 lakh 10,000. 2 lakh 10,000. Here the value of a equal to 5x minus 50. So we will put the value of a, value of a in equation 1. Value of a, a equal to 5x minus 50, we will put here 5x minus 50. So it will be 5x minus 50 into x equal to 2 lakh 10,000. Now, if we multiply, then it will be 5x square minus 50x equal to 2 lakh 10,000. Now, if we divide both sides by 5, then it will be x square minus 10x equal to 42,000. Now, at first, we have brought this 42,000 in left side and then applying middle term factors. Here two factors is 210 and two factors are 210 and 200. If we multiply 210 with 200 then we can get 42,000 and if we add minus 210x with plus 200x then we can get minus 10x so we can write 
इट्स एस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू हंड्रेड टेन एक्स प्लस टू हंड्रेड एक्स माइनस फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड इक्वल टू जीरो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू टर्म वी कैन टेक एक्स एस कॉमन एंड देन फ्रॉम लास्ट टू टर्म वी कैन टेक टू हंड्रेड एक्स कॉमन देन फाइनल वी गेट एक्स माइनस टू हंड्रेड टेन इंटू एक्स प्लस टू हंड्रेड इक्वल टू जीरो डियर द स्टूडेंट द मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ टू एक्सप्रेशन इक्वल टू जीरो हियर सो आइडर एक्स माइनस टू हंड्रेड टेन इक्वल टू जीरो और एक्स इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड टेन नहीं दौर एक्स प्लस टू हंड्रेड इक्वल टू जीरो और एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस टू हंड्रेड डियर द स्टूडेंट्स हियर एक्स इज द नंबर ऑफ फैमिली सो इट कैन नॉट बी नेगेटिव सो एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस टू हंड्रेड इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल सिंस द नंबर ऑफ टोटल फैमिली कैन नॉट बी नेगेटिव सो एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस टू हंड्रेड इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल सो टोटल नंबर ऑफ मेम्बर्स इन यूथ क्लब इज टू हंड्रेड टेन हियर एक्स इज नंबर ऑफ मेम्बर इन दूथ क्लब नॉट नंबर ऑफ फैमिली सॉरी द नंबर ऑफ टोटल डियर द स्टूडेंट्स इट्स विल बी नंबर ऑफ मेम्बर टोटल मेम्बर Since the the number of total member cannot be negative, so x equal to minus 200 is not acceptable. So total number of members in youth club is 210. From equation one we get x equal to 2 lakh 10,000 and putting the value of x as 210 we can get a equal to 1,000. Here we have divided both sides by 210, then we can get a equal to 10,000. Here a is the Contribution of each member. So each members donate ten thousand taka. We have get the answer of the question of step three. Dear the students, we have solved step three. This is the solution of step three. Now we'll solve step. Now we'll solve step four. The question is: Is the allotted food and daily necessities for each family enough for the mentioned time in the stem? Explain. Is the allotted food and daily necessities for each family enough for the mentioned time in the stem? Dear the students, in the stem, it is mentioned that total amount of budget is taken two lakh ten thousand. Total number of family is. Ten hundred, one hundred, and time is one week, or we know that one week equal to seven days. Now, in seven days, one hundred family get two lakh ten thousand taka. So, in one day, ten one hundred family will get two lakh ten thousand divided by seven. And in one day, one family. In one day, one family will get two lakh ten thousand divided by seven multiplication hundred. After cutting, we can get three hundred taka. That means in every day, each family will get three hundred taka. Now the question is, three hundred taka is enough for one family for maintaining their food and daily necessity for one day. Here. I think 300 taka is enough for each family containing three or less number of member to make up the food and other daily necessities. If the number of member in the family is less, is equal or less than three, then I think it will be enough. But if the number of member in the family is more than 300, the 300 taka will not. Be enough for maintaining their daily necessities and food. So, finally, we can say that the allotted food and other daily necessities will be enough if the number of member in each family is three or less. Dear the students, in step four, you can write your own proposal. Okay. Dear the students, we have finished our today's class. I hope you have understood today's class and do your assignment properly and submit within scheduled time. 
स्टे होम स्टे सेफ ओबे योर पेरेंट्स और थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग द क्लास अल्लाह हाफिज़